We're now going to discuss a few qualitative properties of the solutions to the heat equation. And we're going to start with regularity. So let's consider uh, this heat equation here that we've discussed before. The question is, can we increase the regularity on U, uh, provided that we probably do something on the data somehow, either the initial condition and or uh, the heat source, uh, the right hand side, F. Um, well, we, we have already established that if uh, the initial condition U0 is in L2, and if the right hand side to the PDEF is in L2, 0, T, L2, omega, then the solution U is unique in this space, which is E, L2, 0, T, H1, 0, and in intersected with C0, 0, 0, T, L2. Now, if we increase the regularity of F and or U0, can we, or not, can we increase the regularity on U? First, let's see what happens if f is equal to zero. In other words, I have no source term. So I'm considering omega including rd. d is the number of uh, uh, the dimension in, in space, which is bounded, a regular open set. And we consider the, uh, again, absence of source term f is equal to zero. Now, we start with a u naught, which is in L2. Uh, and we look at the solution to this PDE, right? So again, f is equal to zero. Then u is in C infinity of zero plus infinity times omega, actually, omega bar, the closure of omega, which means that uh, we have uh, a solution u which, I mean, it is, is so smooth, you cannot even believe it. I mean, it's so regular, uh, you know, we have a regularizing effect. I mean, u naught is in L2. I mean, that, that's good, but I mean, you see what happens. I mean, the solution is extremely regular. It's smoother than the initial data. Okay, that is, uh, a, 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 actually, I mean, it's almost difficult to believe, but I mean, we have a regularizing effect effect. Now, uh, it's not completely absurd if you think about it, uh, because somehow what we're saying is that we have this DTU which is equal to, to, to alpha Laplace U. So uh, think about it. It's not, it's not, it's not completely counterintuitive. I mean, it's, it's surprising, but it's not uh, counterintuitive necessarily. Now, let's look at what happens when, uh, well, f is no longer equal to zero, but let's see what happens if I increase the regularity of u naught. So now, instead of having u naught in L2, I will take u naught in H10. Then what happens? What happens is that the solution will be L2, zero, T, H2, instead of H10, intersected with uh, C0, 0 t h10 instead of l2. And on top of this, I will have the time derivative of u, which will be in l2 0 t l2 of omega. So what we're saying is that this is obviously more regularity than what we would have had if u naught was simply in l2. And we will prove this proposition in dimension one during the lab session.